and welcome to this week's Stay Home Science with ASC. Today we're going to be thinking about the science behind baking. You may not realise it, but every time you bake you are using chemistry, and the more you understand about the chemistry, the better your bakes will be. When baking, every ingredient you add and every step you take has an important purpose. Let's bake a cake and find out more. For this you will need a large bowl and wooden spoon, a small bowl and whisk, a cake tin, a sieve and scales. For ingredients you will need self-raising flour, butter, sugar and three eggs. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. First measure out six ounces of butter and six ounces of sugar and put them in your bowl. Using your wooden spoon mix them together. You need to mix this really well and this is called creaming. As you do this, the butter starts to dissolve the sugar and you're trapping small bubbles of air in the mixture. The butter provides fat for the cake. Fat gives it a smooth texture and without it, your cake would be rubbery. Sugar has a few different functions in a cake. First of all, it bonds to water molecules, helping to keep the cake moist. Sugar takes part in the Maillard reaction. This is a complex reaction between sugar and protein and this both makes the cake taste nice and it makes the top of it brown when it's baked. Crack your eggs and give them a good whisk to add more air to the mixture. Adding the eggs helps to support the air bubbles you've just made when you mix the butter and sugar. The egg also acts as a binding agent, sticking all of the ingredients together. Measure out six ounces of flour. Sift the flour into the mixture, alternating, adding some flour and some egg and mixing. We sift the flour so that it separates any lumps and makes the texture nice and light. Flour is the structure builder of our cake. Naturally in flour are two proteins called glutenin and gliadin. When you add wet ingredients to a cake mix, like egg, this causes them to combine to make a new protein, gluten. Use some butter to grease the inside of your cake tin. This is to stop the cake sticking. Pour your cake mixture into the tin and put it in the oven. Make sure you set a timer for 30 minutes. Heat is the key ingredient we need to bake our cake. Without heat, the bubbles of carbon dioxide gas won't be released from the mixture and the cake isn't able to rise. If you open the oven door too early, the temperature will drop, the air bubbles will get smaller and the cake will collapse. Now you need to let it cool before removing it from the tin. As it cools, the framework created by the chemical reactions of heating the cake are able to harden and strengthen. Now you can decorate it however you like. Thanks for watching. See you next time.